Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna do a huge book haul and I'm also gonna like show you a few other things that I got in England. So yeah, let's just get started. Um, first thing, I'm just gonna show you like general things I got and then I'm gonna go to the book haul. So if you wanna skip ahead to that, you can do it. Um, I got these Jimmy Keys, baby Jimmy Keys. These are fake gold, not real. Uh, really happy for them. Yeah, I just love how they look. And they were so cheap. They were like £1.50. So cheap, honestly. Like what? F almost 15, about like 15 coins. So that's amazing. I also got like this earring, but that's like a bit more expensive because it's real gold. Um. Yeah, these are from like Indian shops. What I got, I got this. I got this like bindi, like a lot of small black bindis that I can always use when I want to. I got henna. Fun things. I also got another pair of bindi, not bindis, another pair of gym cars, the gym keys, and I don't know where I put them. And they also broke when I came home. I just saw it and. It was broken, so that I was a bit sad about that. But it had like peacocks on like this part of the gym keys. So yeah. But yeah, moving on for shops like boots and boots. I got like two of these lip balms. You can see. Yeah, uh, these have like SPF fifteen on it and. Quite good, nice. I also got this lip balm. I got like a lot of lip balm because my lips are so dry. So yeah, I got sunscreen, SPF 50. I got two of these, how is great. And yeah, it's so much cheaper in boots or in England. A lot, I feel like a lot of things are so much cheaper there than here. I don't know why, but it is. Also got this cream, like I've been wanting this cream from Zerve for so long because I feel like bumps on my arm. But I've always thought like it was a bit, a bit pricey. Especially because I wanted a lot more other things at the same time. I always um, prioritized it less than all the other things, so that's why I haven't like bought it. So I bought it this time, so hopefully it works. I don't know if it's good. What did I get? Oh, I got this blush. It's like the only makeup thing I got, I think. I didn't buy that much makeup. I wanted to get the e.l.f. You know, like the Shell Tilbury dupe. The e.l.f. Uh, Halo Glow, I think that's what it's called. They, it was out of stock. So that, that was great. I really wanted it to try it out because we don't have it here in Denmark. So this is fun. Okay guys, for the book part of the haul now, I'm also going to show you a few books that I got from my friend. I'm going to show you that first. Um, yeah. So these are the books I got from my friend for my birthday. So she gave me like, she gave me like a bouquet. I can put a picture up here if I have one. But yeah, she gave me this book, the... Two Worms Make a White book, and it's great. I loved this so much. It was just so sweet and romantic. It took a longer time to get through because my style of reading is more like drama and angst, where this was more like sweet, and it was so sweet. I, lo I loved it. I loved the guy, and I loved the girl. Honestly, amazing. Yeah, it's like fake dating, so... Good book. I've read this one, but I haven't read the two others. I got the Mr. Wrong number. I'm sorry, I can't see, so I have to like switch it up. Uh, and I haven't read this. I heard it's about like someone calling the wrong number. <laughs> That's what I know about it. Not that much. I've got this book. It's called Hating Games. I am sure everyone knows about this book. I notice i know there's this um 
I think it's a movie on Netflix now. I'm not sure. But I... It's getting dark outside. I don't know if you can tell. Maybe I should turn on the lights. I'm gonna do that after. Uh, the Hating Games. Yeah. I I wasn't gonna buy this book ever, to be fair. Because I heard, like... I know it's like Enemies to Lovers, and I love Enemies to Lovers for some reason. But I just heard it wasn't, like, really Enemies to Lovers. You know, like, the Spanish... Deception, I don't remember what it's called. But that book, I rented it at my library, at my school library, and I couldn't even read the first page or chapter. So I just gave it back. It just didn't give sense. didn't make sense that it was enemies to lovers. It was kind of weird how it started out, so I just didn't read it. So, so I gave it back. And also, I heard a lot of people talk about it. It was like boring and whatever so i didn't want to read the finish and waste my time and i feel like that's what this book is about and it's not gonna be good but i don't know we're gonna see because now i have half the book so i feel like i have to read it so i'm gonna do that okay now for the books i got in england i think i'm gonna turn out the lights guys also i can't see anything. Is that better? I hope that's better. Oh my god, it's raining. Now. Okay, it's raining outside, so that's amazing. And the books I got in England. I got this book at last minute. Yeah. Uh, we were gonna, like, leave for the a plane right and i really wanted to go to the books like close to the hotel and i've asked my mom like several times so at last minute like nine o'clock when they open it we were there and yeah then we obviously had to take the car and leave and whatever but i found this book and this was not on my list i don't know if i told you i made a list of books i went to buy Right? And I did not get most of these books on my list. I got like two things on the list because one of them is a series. Let me show you. I'm so sorry if you can hear the like raining. It's like pulling down rain right now and it's summer. Like that doesn't make sense in any way. However, this was not on my list and I just got it last minute. I just like took it because it was like, ugh. They don't have all the books I want, but I just, this looked interesting. Like, the cover is so beautiful, and I searched it on uh, TikTok, and it said it was about, like, a retelling of a Korean fairy tale. I think it was Korean, um, but still, it's so beautiful. So hopefully, it's as good as the cover books. The uh, next book I got, also was not on my list, was The Bad Girl Reputation, uh, yeah. I read the first book, uh, Good Girl Complex, and I wasn't like, wowed about it, it was just mid, right? And yeah, so I got this one. I I don't know if I would like it, but I feel like it would be, it would be okay. It would be like a nice, good read. I don't know what, <laughs> I have no idea what it is about. Oh my, it's like broken. I didn't even, guys, I don't know if you can see this. It's like ruined behind. I, I think it's new, but like, I don't know. Yeah, what, what is it about? Okay. I think it's like second chance romance. I'm not sure. I think this is like second chance romance trope but yeah uh the books that were on my list were the dreamland billionaires series i got they are super cheap as well um they had a set but i don't know they didn't have the set at the store i went to but they had it online if that makes sense so i got like the fine print i firstly didn't want to buy this because i only wanted to like read this one 
because I thought this was like really good. But I got the whole series. Like I can't read this one without reading the first book, right? Like that wouldn't make sense. So I got all three books because they were cheap. Yeah. I don't know what what most of them are about, but I think it's fine. Then I got this book, it's called uh, Not So Meet Cute. I think the cover is terrible. Honestly, like this guy that's just here, it, it looks so weird, right? Like looking at this cover, I was like not gonna get it, but I heard one of the tropes. I forgot what it was, but it, it was something good, real good. Right, so I was excited after that, but <laughs> I think it's going to be a bit time to read because it's a cover, it looks not so good. Another book I, I got was The Love Hypothesis. I have this book and I bought it because my friend wants it, and it has a new bonus chapter, so she's gonna get a bonus chapter with it. It's so cheap. She asked me to get it, so I got it for her. I got a box set thing. This is called the... What does this say? What? Okay. Uh, this is the Shadow Me series. Is that what it's called? I feel like that's what it's called. What is... What? Okay. This is the Shadow Me series. I got, I wasn't gonna buy this, but it was so cheap. And it was either this or the Inheritance game. And I really didn't want to get that one either. Because it's about rich people. Like, that sounds a bit boring, <laughs> to be fair. But <clears throat> I heard this is about like a girl living in this dystopian world. And that doesn't that's also something i'm not interested in you know um but i still got this book because why not uh try and read it it's dystopia i personally don't like anything dystopia for some reason well not like specifically dystopia. i just don't like dystopia from school you know like we learned about it in english class so it just reminds me of school for that reason but i'm just gonna pretend it's not about dystopia and read this. I think this is the first book, right? And this, and that, and then this, and this is the last one. I think, I'm not sure. <clears throat> but I'm excited to read this. And it was so cheap. Like, what? 15 pounds for what? How many books? One, two, three, four, five. Five books. Shocking, honestly. I would, this would be like a thousand pounds in Denmark. Honestly, it's like a book here. It's about almost two hundred crowns, so like one ninety. It's a hundred and fifty crowns, about hundred and fifty crowns. For this book, I'm sold. Right, like huge savings. Love that. Yeah, that was all for my um video, guys. I don't have anything else to say. But thank you for watching and I hope you to see you on my next video. Bye!